highlight of Earth's great civilizations. We were chosen. Some were selected for their skills, others for their strength, and some by luck. ships were the embodiment of each nation's ingenuity, courage, and faith. And they sent us to the stars in search of a new home. As we raced skyward, we carried aloft the hopes of those left behind. Our journey through deep space was long and quiet. Wow, what an intro. So, <laughs> this is Gravy, and we're going to be playing uh, Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. I'm very excited for this game. I've been waiting for this game for a very long time now, and I'm so happy to finally play it. This is the first time I've ever played this game, so we're going to be doing this together, you and me, uh, single player. Uh, it's been a long time, guys. I haven't... <laughs> Been making videos since Minecraft Alpha, and I'm um, I'm excited to get back into it. I'm uh, currently living in Belgium, and uh, so yeah, let's just uh, get into the game. Set up game, difficulty. Let's see, we got Sputnik, the easiest one. And it goes to Mercury, Vostok, Gemini, Soyuz, and Apollo, which is the impossibly hard. Uh, I'm. Uh, Although I really like playing Civilization games, I would say I'm not the best player. Um, might want to go with Mercury, just standard normal, yeah. Game pace, let's go standard. I usually, uh, I love doing marathon, I, I don't know, I just really like the idea of this epic journey, but for this, for this let's play, let's just do standard, map size, uh, standard, let's just do all standard. Um, Alright, Disney Sponsor, so we could do Random, ARC, Pan-Asian Cooperative, Franco-Iberia, Slavic Federation, Polystrasia, Cavathan Kev Protectorate, Brasilia, and African Union. Well, African Union has a lot of uh, food bonus when your civilization is healthy or happy. Um, Polystrasia, plus two trade routes available for the capital, that sounds pretty good. Orbital units stay in orbit 20% longer, and the first one launched grants a free technology. Ooh, I think I might go with the Slavic Federation. Franco-Iberia, gain a free technology for every 10 virtues developed, that sounds pretty good. Uh, this is for wonders and worker speed. Cover operations are 25% faster and cause ooh. So we got a lot of uh, a lot of choices here. They all have their different 
specialties, I guess, depending on what kind of victory you're going for. Um, I usually tend to uh, take the most general kind of bonuses that would help you regardless of what playstyle you play as, because as soon as you land on this alien planet, I feel like, depending on the uh, surroundings, you're going to have some very different outcomes. You know, you might want to be all war, so you choose Brasilia, but you go in there and you realize you're not even anywhere close to um, other civilizations to do battle with. So I think what I'll do is uh, Slavic Federation. That sounds cool. Next, choose colonist. So we got scientists, refugees, aristocrats, engineers, artists. Hmm, well, I'm going for kind of like a Slavic new, Nouveau Soviet Union, so maybe we should do uh, engineers, working class, or refugees. Uh, uh, I think I'll do engineers. Production's pretty good. Choose spacecraft. Oh wow, so we got Continental Surveyor, which reveals coasts on map, retrograde thrusters, wider area for choosing where to land for city, and additional visibility around starting area. That could be very helpful in the, in the beginning. Um, life form sensor, reveal alien nests on map. That's handy, I guess. I'm not really sure how big a role aliens play into this, but I'm sure it's a big one. Um, fusion reactor, begin with 100 energy. Okay, that's pretty standard. Uh, tectonic scanner, no technology is needed to see petroleum, geothermal, and titanium resources. Well, I'm not really sure what technologies you need in order to see those. Um, I'm not sure how helpful this is. I think I will go with Continental Surveyor, because that way, if there's a coast right next to my uh, landing spot, I'll know right off the bat so I don't send my scout over there. Choose Cargo. Um, hydroponics, begin with an extra population, your first city. Laboratory, begin with the pioneering technology. I assume that's for uh, settling new outposts. So. Uh, Maybe if you were going for a more fast, kind of expanding empire, you'd go for that. Weapon arsenal, being with the soldier unit. Good if there's a bunch of aliens next to you, I guess. Uh, begin with the clinic. Begin with the worker unit. Um, now, I've seen videos for this game before, and I know you get to choose where you land somewhat in this small area. So if we did machinery, would I need technology in order to improve the resources around me? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'll go with hydro... Laboratory? Yeah, I'll go with laboratory. Technology is always good. Uh, next. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we got... We can... Uh, Rescan for planets, so I guess that just kind of randomizes the the names. That's cool. So we'll generate different planets. Um, I think I'll go for a Terran world, advanced worlds. Oh, okay. So this is um, this is what I unlocked from uh, pre-ordering. So we got uh, <laughs> eighty-two Ariadia E. Archipelago, uh, Equatorial, Eta Volpicule, uh, Latin. Tidally locked in orbit around a weak scar as South is blistering desert over there. Okay, so pretty standard kind of Civ 5 uh, maps. Minus, you know, Europe and things like that. So, um, I think I'll just go for a randomized Terran world. Sounds pretty good. Uh, advanced setup. Let's just peek into here. Okay, so I can pretty much like Civ Five. You can uh, say like I want this monster to be blah. I'll just have them all in random. Uh, let's see here. 
Frenzied aliens. Alien aggression and spawn rates are greatly increased. Cool. That's kind of like the uh, barbarian... What is it? Raging barbarians or something like that? Um, don't stagger starts. I, I kind of like the idea of different starting times. That's pretty cool, I think. Or at least I want to see how it works out in my first game. Uh, I have no idea what these are. Oh, well, I guess this is... Uh, Saving up uh, promotions for your units, similar to uh, us at five. Uh, do they have? They don't seem to have a uh, one one city uh, challenge like they did in Civ Five. No city raising. All right. Uh, I think I'll just leave this how it is. Uh, I've never played this, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what the best settings are or what I prefer. Um, so I'm just going to start game. Oh man, I am. I've never, never played Alpha Centauri, but uh, I've seen videos of it, and it seems pretty cool. So I'm, I'm very excited to uh, embark on this new civilization journey. I've been waiting for the new civilization game for a long time now, and I am thrilled. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide okay. your development Okay, so this is like tutorial. Path. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? Let's go no advice, <laughs> so you guys can make fun of me when I do stupid things. Uh, don't show this one in the future. I'd rather not... If I was playing by myself, then yeah, I might have the tutorial open, but I think this would get annoying. Uh, continue. Alright. So, let's see. <laughs> wow. I got some algae off the coast. Uh, forest, hills... Um, It's usually good to have a city on a hill, from what I understand, but I, I'd really prefer to be on the coast, and I think this grassland might be perfect. Uh, these hills kind of, these hills and the mountains uh, over here kind of provide a natural uh, defense against any intruders. I think there's a ravine right here that I can see, or a canyon. Uh, there's some fungus over here, not sure what that does for us. There's some chitin. Uh, float stone, miasma. All right, I think I'll just land right here. So here comes my ship on this alien world. Very cool. My uh, capital is Krabrost. Not sure what that means. It's probably some Slavic, uh, Slavic roots put together to make something. Um, this is my explorer, pretty standard scout. Okay, so all coasts, including lakes, are discovered, so I can see all the different consonants. It's pretty cool. So I know this ends right here. So maybe uh, I'm on one of the pretty big, uh, this is pretty sizable consonant. Um, so I generally want to go in this area. Let's see, I'll go... I'll go up here and down there, so... Let's see here. On this hill. Going on a hill grants you more visibility. Choose production, so let's see here. We got... Colonist... Trade convoy, worker, or explorer. Actually, I can't do these grid out ones until I uh, do certain things. So, hmm, I think it might be best to just. Uh, old Earth Relic culture. I'm assuming this is kind of like the Civ 5 monument. Um, standard kind of start, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just go with that. Don't really need to worry about military right now. I'm the only one on this planet so far. Choose research. Okay, so we have a tech web instead of a tech tree. 
it's pretty cool. Um, so I already have Pioneering, that was one of the, uh, what, the cargo that I chose. Uh, colonist, so I can, I can make outposts and things like that. Trade Convoy, Trade Vessel, Trade Depot. Alright, so, uh, these are all very good. Good for trade, good for making new things, expanding, uh, not sure what direction I really want to head in. So I'm guessing the purple are the ones that I can do, and the grayed out are the ones I uh, can't. So let's just, uh, hmm, that sounds good. I can make a ranger, that's the ranged unit, okay, makes sense. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Thorium reactor, repair facility, reveals titanium on the map. Alright, well since I already have uh, colonists, maybe I should do... Okay, this this is petroleum. And this is geothermal, so if I got the other one, it would already pretty much give me a big, uh, the, uh, big, shoot, uh, <laughs> bonuses that these three technologies would give me. So then maybe that would encourage me to take physics or something else and without losing too much, um, Ooh, I really like the soundtrack for this. Uh, so, kind of like Civ Five, they have these little recommendation things. Um, my health seems to be okay. Maybe I just want to expand. So maybe I'll take chemistry. That way I can see where petroleum is. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do chemistry next, and then after that, I'll do engineering. I'll queue that up by pressing uh, Shift. You can queue technologies, in case you didn't know that. Pretty standard for 4X games. So that was my first turn. Alright. I'll go up over here. Next turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've seen this glitch a lot in preview videos. I never really thought it would happen to me, though. Um, so that might have been a mistake. He stopped his turn in Miasma. There's actually not too much Miasma around our base um, compared to some other videos I've seen, so I think we have a pretty decent start. Uh, not very resource-heavy, but it's decent, I think. All right. Let's go over here. Uh, more inland. Very cool. I'm really digging the new atmosphere. Oh. Oh. Alright, so who's this? Citadella. Brasilia. And the United People of South America bid you welcome. Alright, well, at least they're being friendly. Uh, I can... I'm assuming he's speaking Portuguese or Spanish. Uh, pretty much the, uh, I'm assuming cooperation agreement is friendship. Uh, pretty standard. And wow, so... <laughs> There's a bunch of aliens that came out to say hi. That's nice. Um, there's these three different affinities up here. I have no idea what I'm going to try to go towards. Um, I don't really know how either all of them play. So we're just going to... We're going to be friendly at first. Depending on what happens. Mind their own business. Hopefully they'll mind their own business. And uh, so yeah, I think that's a great place for a break. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.